do 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 snake hello everyone <laughs> that was weird and welcome to another unboxing thingy this time we have as i whack something with my elbow the metal gear solid 5 the phantom pain tactical espionage operations this is the collector's edition as you can't see because this thing is so huge look at the size of it also it's for once, weirdly longer, no, wider, longer, thicker, that side bigger, that side. <laughs> Anywho, it's very interesting. I'm still, I'm very curious because looking at this, if I can zoom it in and then it, if you look, it sort of kind of looks a little bit maybe metal I don't know we'll see in a minute oh that's not good shouldn't be be seeing that there we go now you can't see the PS4 logo but it doesn't matter because we're going to open it and what do we use to open things oh, 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 oh. the unboxing knife I mean we don't really need it but Whatever, it's fun to use. Actually, can I? I'm trying to not damage what is a really cool box, which has been delivered to me not damaged for once. Because I've got a really bad rap of getting collectors. Ooh, that feels very nice. Getting collectors editions and them just being totally wrecked before I even get my hands on them. Oh, and you can also see everything that's inside, because I should really show that before we open it. Just throw that over there. So, inside... Can I get a nicer zoom than that? There we go. Inside, you can see that we get the half scale replica of Snake's bionic arm. I wish I could have got the full scale one, but whatever. You get a map. Just map. That's all it says. Just map. A Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Collector's Disc. No idea what that actually is. Steelbook and game. And then we get uh, some additional content, which is mine. For me, not for you. For leader. What's this? Oh. Shouldn't be hitting that. One player. Network two players. Remote player supported. Dual shock. Fox engine. Swearing. Violence and online. So, oh, it is metal. So how does this work? I don't want to wreck it. Ah, is that right? I don't know. Well, this has literally just been attached via some sticky stuff. That's it. So, well, that's not going to stay on. Actually, is this... Oh, my God, it's a magnet. That's awesome. Since it doesn't, like, mention that it comes with a magnet. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really pleased with that. I didn't even know if it was metal. Turns out it's a magnet. And then we do that. Remove you. I have got this zoomed out. We do that. Oh, it's attached at the front. By more of the sticky goop. Let's take that. Nothing else on the bottom. Nothing on the top. There was sticky goop on the top, but it just didn't stick. And let us put this over here. It's very sharp on the bottom, actually. Like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Let's open this up before I go in one scene. It doesn't seem to want to open up that way. Come on. Hey, so is this attached? 
Okay, well, it's meant to be attached. So that it does a cool opening thing to open to about that. Then this comes out. This thing's so tall. To reveal. Le hand. Which we will put there for the moment. And we'll quickly have a look at the other things. We've got our steel tin. Oh god, this thing's inside and I didn't expect it. So I'm guessing that's the map. We have... This must be the disc that it spoke of. Let's take that out. So you can see behind there. That's pretty cool. Also, I just realised it does actually say right there. Collect as disc, Metal Gear Solid 5. Awesome. Put that to one. I don't know why I'm putting it over there. Put that to there. Why are you upside down? Whatever. We have the game. Which. Let's actually open it up properly. Not to be sold separately. How dare you try to get money off your own product that you own. But you don't actually own. More rubbish over there. One sad thing though. Which everyone knows about at this point. Is the fact of. Hmm. I'm not saying the word Kojima anywhere here. Because, yep, he got removed from everything. But we're not going to get into that. Oh, what's that? Complete official guide. Okay, complete official guide. Go to that piggyback.com if you want. Turn key walkthrough at a glance. Oh, I'm going to read through that in a minute. Day one additional content. Let's have a look at this. Instructions. Controls. Ooh, vehicle. Ugh. One bit of paper. What we got? Download exclusive items. Download exclusive items. Okay. One was for the, one's the game stuff, one's the Metal Gear Online stuff. But I'm not going to show them to you because they don't want to lose me codes. Why? I like back in the old days. When, like... Ooh, the light. No inside cover, sadly. When manuals had some substance to them. Let's see. Nine years after the fall of Mother Base, legendary hero Snake wakes from a coma. Together with Ocelot and Miller, he must rebuild Mother Base and establish a new armed force, Diamond Dogs. Only then will he have his revenge on Cypher. The Phantom Bra Damn! The Phantom Pain brings an explosive conclusion to the Metal Gear Solid V experience. Explore a vast world, build and defend Mother Base, infiltrate en enemy territory, unleash Diamond Dogs! More of the same stuff that was on the other thing. Get this, because I want to read this. The Essential Compilation. The ultimate guide to 100% completion. All missions, all side quests, all secrets, all collectibles, all achievements and trophies at your fingertips. Turnkey walkthrough at a glance. An at a glance map based walkthrough steers you through the entire adventure supported by annotated high res screenshots. I, I'm going to sneeze in a second. Here it comes. Bless me. Cover my mouth so I didn't kill everyone who has headphones. I don't know why I've not zoomed in on this. All game systems decoded. Statistics, diagrams, and analytics. And, and analysis from our experts provide a comprehensive understanding of all game systems and features including the Mother Base Management metagame. A wealth of extras, including an extensive story recap that you don't need, a poster covering the immense game area, and much more. Now, I know this is sniffly. Exclusive to the Collector's Edition, a lithograph by Yoji Shinkawa. 
I said that right. An art gallery, an exclusive hardcover, and additional content. Free guide sample pages available at www.piggyback.com. Fair enough. The normal, the collectors. Ooh. Let's have a look at the map. For which I'm going to attempt with all of my might to fail. This is not put together very well. Hmm. I'll have to come back to that and try and see if there's some way to fix it. Let's have a look at the map. After I zoom out again. Oh, it's a big map. Alright. Uh, uh, the sticky thing. It's bloody sticky things. I'm going to have to move for this. Okay, so let's get this map out. Oh, I'm going to have to move a lot. All of this. Because this map is big. I didn't actually think it would be this big. Hey, it's like Grand Theft Auto. I need to include maps. Oh, I just realised something. That's quite cool. So here is map number one. Angola Zaire border region. Savannah, Muntoy, Condemn Mine, Oil Field, Plantation. And on the other side, which is this way for some reason, the Northern Kabul, Afghanistan, Diamond Dogs area of operations. These are the two areas that the game is set in, or the two major areas. So that's actually really cool, because I only thought you got one map. I don't know why this map's been put as a long one, whereas more usefully for my camera, this one's been put this way. That's cool. I'll probably actually use them. Because this... Oh, no, I've done that wrong. This game is quite heavily mapped. I know. It's what everyone's been waiting for. Oh, let's get back in my normal position. The big hand everyone's been waiting to see. Oh, that landed out quite nicely. Let's move the camera down ever so slightly not that it really helps but to be fair I'll move this out of the way and then move it back oh what Plas plastic oh oh okay um ah uh, Sure, okay. I that makes perfect sense. Um There's a nice thumb cover. That's weird. Ah brilliant, it does have articulation. Quite a bit of articulation actually. It does f feel a little bit weak though, because of the plastic it's made out of. Haha! We did the metal, the uh, peace walker thing. Also, that means that we can do. Let's see if I can get this right. Rocket fist. <laughs> this is actually really cool. I like it. Let's change the lighting slightly. So, let's have a look. Forearm holding level hatch. Is that actually a thing? Doesn't look like it. I mean, it kind of does, but at the same time, doesn't. 
I don't want to risk breaking it. Now these just look like nice little extras. Diamond Dogs R&D Artificial Limbs Laboratory. There we go. You can actually see now. Far arm holding lever. This is upside down. Field stripping fastener B. Do not use. What the heck's that word? Molybden. Molybdenum? Lubricants? Motive sinew protection gauntlet. Caution. Bolting torque. That. <laughs> oh. Caution. Overhaul must be done at designated workshop. Any other writing that we've not found? Twenty fifteen Konami Digital Entertainment. Ah, this is pretty cool, I like it. Pleasure to meet you. But it's cool. It's got a lot of mobility in it. Oh you <laughs> That's kinda creepy when you do that though. Wonder can you I'm just trying to figure out what the level of mobility Ruff 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 If you're trying to do It's kinda of difficult to do it, but you can sort of do it. But that's really cool, I really like that. Oh, it sort of leans to one side. Kinda. There we go. Actually. That looks a bit better. So, yeah, that was the collector's edition. This is a bit card. I did cover, yeah, I did cover everything. Again, that's the, the online content, which I couldn't, well, I can't technically show you because, well, the Metal Gear Online stuff doesn't exist yet. Nope, it does not like, that's the best we're going to get. But, yeah, that was pretty awesome. It doesn't mention anywhere on it about it, you getting the Diamond Dog Magnet. I'm just trying to think, do I actually have anything? Is this... Diamond Dogs! That's actually quite awesome. Not the strongest magnet, or not the best metal. It, like, barely re registers there as metal. It seems to be a quite weak magnet from the metal that's around here. How about you? Yeah, it's quite weak, but it's still cool. Oh, actually, I wonder. Can I... I'm going to try and do this, because this might look cool. It might. So... Incredibly dangerous, but whatever. Oh, I can't really get the best angle for that. But it still looks pretty cool. It 
let's angle you down slightly and nope they do not want to stand up and then the knife falls out oh well thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next thing whatever that might be bye bye <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm insane. Uh, rocket punch.